In other news, Nyali Primary School in Mombasa County is embroiled in a land ownership tussle. The school claims that 14.7 acre parcel of land that was set aside for the construction of a secondary school had been grabbed by unscrupulous land grabbers. Appearing before the National Lands Commission Alternative Dispute Resolution Technical Team, the school's legal representative Moses Waweru petitioned the commission to ensure that the land is returned to the school. Yeah. This parcel of land measuring 14.7 acres lying next to Nyali Primary School in Mombasa County is the center of controversy <laughs> with the school's administration claiming that it was grabbed almost 20 years ago. There was a metamorphosis of the parcels because uh, other subdivisions were done, other numbers were issued. So it was a scheme to basically make sure that whatever work the commission is doing does not succeed and that the title documentation uh, cannot be traced to a particular number. I think what they forgot is that uh, the land is very much next to Nyali Primary. Appearing before the National Lands Commission's Alternative Dispute Resolution Technical Team, so the, actual acreage has the school's legal representative Moses Waweru submitted that the land which had been set aside for the construction of a secondary school had been illegally subdivided and allocated to unknown individuals without their consent. High Court Judge Said Juma Shitembwe is among 47 individuals and companies listed in the disputed prime land. Through his lawyer, Augustus Wafula, Shitembwe argued he legally acquired his parcel of land. This Idris Hussein Mohammed sold this property to Justice Said Jitembwe in 2004. Now, from 2004, Justice Chitembwe has been in occupation of this property, now we are talking about over 18 years, has been using this property exclusively for over those 18 years and has massively developed this property. The matter will be heard again on Thursday afternoon with final submissions expected on Friday morning before the Commission gives its recommendations on the way forward. Uh, we require the receipt to confirm payment as part of the conditions for the issuance of the allotment letter and we require a letter of acceptance to enable the Director of Survey to conduct a survey on this land. The commission led by Vice Chair Gertrude Nguku is in the region for five days to conduct inquiries and investigations into disputed parcels of land in Mombasa and Kuala counties. For Lunchtime News, I'm Safin Aching, Oma.